All right, guys, so we're here to talk about the workout preview for the 18th. This is for Wednesday. Um, today, during your Harpoon at Home workout, you are doing a little bit more of incremental movement, holding positions for one minute or working for reps for one minute. Today, during our workout, we're actually going to do a traditional style AMRAP, so as many rounds as reps as possible in that 13 minutes. Um, under the workout prep notes, which I mentioned in our video talking about where to find things, you're gonna see a great warm up, a little bit of a workout primer for you guys to be able to prepare for the workout itself. And in that warm up, what we have today is 10 of each of these movements, okay? So as we're getting ready to prepare for the workout, we wanna make sure that we stay safe and healthy both with our bodies and getting our systems ready to rock. So in the warm up, all we're gonna ask you to do is use one dumbbell because that way most people typically have one set of dumbbells and there's two of them. They're typically workout weight or pretty heavy weight. So for each of these movements in the warm up, we just want you to use one dumbbell. I'd recommend switching the arms on both sides depending on the round that you're working through. So we're gonna start, it's a little weird with the dumbbell deadlift, but it's a good core exercise to start to activate. So you're just gonna go down, put that dumbbell outside the body there. Okay, then maybe switch to the left side here, one arm, single dumbbell clean, working those good positions and the fast turnover of the elbows here. Hold the dumbbell here for the dumbbell squats, squat back and down. Then we can hang one dumbbell out to the shoulder, press it up overhead. You might split it half and half, totally up to you, okay? Then you're gonna either grab a broomstick, your PVC pipe, if you grabbed a jump rope, and we're just gonna do 10 pass-throughs to loosen up the shoulders. We're gonna finish with five walkouts in our warm-up, so five inchworms, and then five Spider-Mans on each side. We know those as harpooners are something we do almost every single day. After you do that once, we're gonna work back to the top and do it all over again. So if you don't have any of those movements, if you don't have a dumbbell at all, um, let us know or follow the dynamic warm up that we traditionally do in class. We can set those up so that you can access them all the time throughout this time that we're at home, okay? As we get going, we then wanna send you into your workout prep. Typically, we recommend going through each of these movements one or two times. So making sure that you have a good weight set up for your deadlift, for your squat clean, your thruster, and your dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Now, as you get into the workout, now we're using two dumbbells. So you wanna put both of those dumbbells on the outsides of your feet, okay? This workout is a ladder. So first round, you're gonna hit every single movement one time. Then second round, we're gonna hit every single movement twice. And then we go three of each, four of each, etc., all the way until we finish that 13 minute window. So we just wanna make sure that we're planning good transitions, that we're continuing to place the dumbbells down and not forcing ourselves to push too hard and get poor movement, right? We still wanna be moving well, even though we're with probably a little bit lighter load and you don't have eyes on you. Good way to check your form, record yourself. Send us a note, send us a video on what you're doing and we can give you feedback and see if you're doing um, everything well along the way. So dumbbell deadlift, right? We're just gonna make sure the dumbbell is outside of the feet. We stand all the way up, hips and shoulders are extended behind us, all right? Then we're gonna go back down, touch the ground, only this time we're jumping that dumbbell up to the shoulders, squatting with them here, resting halfway on the shoulder position. All right, we stood from the squat clean, now we gotta do a thruster, which is a squat to a press, then we're going a shoulder to overhead. Okay, now we get a little tricky, because we gotta go down into two deadlifts. Then we're going two squat cleans. Okay, now here, Bring those dumbbells back down, good practice. Two squat cleans, we stand, then we do two thrusters. Then we have two shoulder to overhead. Now we work through it again for sets of three. So we go three dumbbell deadlifts. Gotta go to the floor, we got three squat cleans. Then we got three thrusters. Still gotta stand before we start that thruster. And then we have three shoulder to overhead. Okay, that's the set that's gonna start to catch up to you a little bit. So if you need to break it up, go ahead and break it up wherever you feel necessary. Let us know how it goes. 13 minute clock, we'll be looking for your scores.